Okay, so today we're finally going to fix that power antenna. Um, some of you might have the plastic cord um, broken off into the housing, uh, like I do. So today we're going to access the housing of the antenna and motor and, and assembly. Um, we're going to replace that cord. Uh, well, we're going to take that cord out and then we're going to install our new antenna. So let's get started. Okay, so the antenna motor assembly is under the passenger side uh, front wheel well. Uh, what we have to do is take off the um, plastic uh, tabs that are holding that shroud in place. Um, I ended up breaking most of mine, but luckily I ordered more on Amazon knowing that that would happen. The um, other thing I didn't need to do was removing the Torx screws. Um, I ended up not really needing to remove them, but uh, I did anyway. These clips, I'm gonna get flat head and pop the little tabs out, but they usually break off, so pretty much I have to. I end up pushing the pins in. Uh, once they're in, then you can pop the plastic off, but they usually end up breaking. I'll show you guys what I see. Take this fender, pry it down, and you look up in there, you can see that's the connector for it, and then there's a bolt right back there. You just barely see it on the right of the screen, right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take that bolt out, see if this thing comes out. Okay, before I do that, I'm gonna take this uh, this off. All you do is unscrew this. Uh, I took some needle nose pliers, put it in the grooves, pop that off. And as you can see, there's nothing attached there. So, so this is the old one. You're gonna wanna hang on to this uh, this part because the new one doesn't come with any of this. So you gotta keep that. So we'll lay that to the side for now. And I'll try to get that bolt out. Okay, you can see that's the uh, screw uh, that you need to put back in. That's the only thing holding this whole assembly on. Uh, there's a little hook on there that hooks onto the side. Uh, that'll hold it in place while you uh, screw it back on. That's the only screw you need to put back on and that's it. Okay, so that one bolt I showed you is literally the only thing holding it on. Then up here, you come and you, you just gotta keep wiggling it and then this will come loose. Then you pl pry that off and then that just slides right out. Um, you gotta make sure you disconnect the harness first, which is... <sighs> come on. That plug right there. Okay, an easy way to get that clip off is once you have it pull, uh, once you have that rubber grommet pulled out, you can you can slide the unit back to here, um, and once you slide it back to here, now you have uh, access to that plug. So what you do is you stick your screwdriver bit, a uh, flathead bit, into there, and you pry out, and then this will just just push back, and this will pop off. Um, the connector will pop off. Come on, focus. All right, that connector will pop off. Now you have that off. Okay, I got it out. This is the one screw right here. That's the only screw that's holding it in. Um, once you get that out, I don't know how to get this uh, antenna off. I don't want to break this, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do all the work here without putting too much stress on this uh, this part. I might want to actually tape that here just so I don't stress that connection. I think that's what I'll do first. So. There's this plastic cover on here to protect it from rain and the moisture. Looks like they did a pretty good job. Sealing it too. Um, anyway, this needs to come up in order for us to get to all the components.
Okay, so I set up a little workbench for myself. Basically, I'm gonna take these screws out that hold the uh, cover on. Okay, there's a little uh, tab here. You can see that that little tab. You gotta pry on the back of this to send that little hole to, to pop that off and get it out of the way. Okay, sorry for the heat gun noise in the background. It's like 27 degrees, so I'm trying to keep uh, uh, warm. Um, the housing uh, is, comes off pretty easily. Uh, it's got a gasketing material that stays soft. Um, so it's um, pretty straightforward. The uh, Once you get the housing open, um, in my case, I had most of the nylon uh, um, cord uh, pretty much co uh, wrapped up inside um, so I'm gonna remove that um, everything else looks okay all the plastics look fine so I'm gonna spray a little bit of white lithium grease in the in the chamber it uh, looks like that's what they originally used and then I'm gonna close it back up um, and I'm not gonna install any anything right now I'm not gonna run the antenna in or anything I'm just gonna close it back up take the nylon out um, close it up and uh, reinstall it back into the car. But this is the old one right here. Taking this out. You can see it broke off pretty much right at the uh, the end there. So all of its. Uh, all of it's broken. Look like there's enough sealant there that I don't need to add another uh, another layer. I think once I squeeze this back together, it'll be tight again. Um, yeah, yeah. There's plenty on there. So, um, you note know, when you take off that center screw, there is a nut on the back side. Um, there's an opening on the back side, and this nut is on the back side that that'll fall out. Um, I luckily it landed right on here and I found it. Um, so if you're wondering, when you screw this back in, you're wondering why it's not screwing in. It's because that nut's not in the back. Okay, another thing to note on the top here. Uh, crap. Ah. So on the top here, there's a nut right there inside that opening. Uh, and it can slide up from the top. It slides down in. Um, if, if that nut's not there and you try to put in the ground screw for this, uh, like I did, uh, you'd be like, oh shit, something, it's not going through. It's because that nut didn't slide back down. So all you gotta do is just reach up at the top, push that nut back down, and then it'll, it'll slide in. You don't need to take the whole cover off like I did. And this is mainly just to protect water from coming up over the top. It's not really supposed to be a complete seal. You don't want to seal this tight or else you're just going to be, condensation is going to build up in there and you're going to ruin the motor that way. So it just needs to be covered down at the top. Don't seal the bottom. Um, I'm going to put some tape. So that's all set. We're going to put this back in. Pretty straightforward. Follow the same procedure in reverse. Except this time you have a lot less clips because you broke most of them like me. Make sure you don't forget to put this part back on like I just did. There's only one way you can go on. So, put that down on there. Alright, so I got the, uh, it's still loose, but it's in there. I'm just going to tighten up that bolt now. Just that one bolt. You can't just use the up and down switches on the, uh, 
on the controller on the console without having the power antenna wire uh, going to the antenna. Um, I guess that's mainly because why would you want to bring your antenna up and down if the radio's not even on? I think that might be the reasoning. Um, but anyway, I hooked up the wire, the uh, black and red wire for the antenna, up to the amp turn-on wire for the head unit, which is the blue wire with the white stripe on it, um, on the um, Pioneer unit. Um, so now that Pioneer unit's blue and white wire turns the antenna um, up, it also powers on the both of the amps, the one under the seat and the one in the back. Um, so I'm gonna um, have my girlfriend now um, turn the key off. As soon as I turn the key off, you hear the uh, antenna now go back down. So I'm gonna have her turn the key off, and I'm gonna put the antenna in the uh, in the opening and have it try to pull it back in and like back off. Like you're pulling the key out. What? Yeah, just don't do it yet. When I tell you, just pull it back out. Take the key out, okay? All right. So she's over there. I'm over here with the uh, antenna. I'm gonna try. I think everybody was saying do it clockwise. Uh, I'm gonna try to do it clockwise because I'm pretty sure. No, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Not clockwise. Um, I'm gonna do it facing the teeth facing the front towards the front of the car. I think everybody was saying to do it, do it that way. Um, okay, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it that way. Alright, moment of truth. Make sure you're uh, prepared for this thing to suck it down. Easy. Nice. Okay. Back back on. Just a similar. There we go. Put this back on. Make sure you put this back on before you go do anything else. So now for a quick test. I'm gonna have her put the key back in. Okay, put the key back in. Don't turn it on, just in the on position. Okay, so it looks like there's a memory built in. So if your antenna doesn't go up all the way when you uh, uh, when you turn the key to the on position, it's all you have to do is hit the button on the uh, on the console that raises the antenna um, until it's fully up, and then when you shut it off, it'll come back down by itself. Um, pretty cool, um, like me. Make sure you don't forget to put this part back on like I just did. There's only one way you can go on. So, put that down on there. Alright, so I got the, uh, it's still loose, but it's in there. I'm just going to tighten up that bolt now. Just that one bolt. You can't just use the up and down switches on the, uh, on the controller on the console without having the power antenna wire uh, going to the antenna. Um, I guess that's mainly because why would you want to bring your antenna up and down if the radio's not even on? I think that might be the reasoning. Um, but anyway, I hooked up the wire, the uh, black and red wire for the antenna, up to the amp turn-on wire for the head unit, which is the blue wire with the white stripe on it, um, on the um, Pioneer unit. Um, so now that Pioneer unit's blue and white wire turns the antenna um, up. It also powers on the both of the amps, the one under the seat and the one in the back. Um, so I'm going to um, have my girlfriend now um, turn the key off. As soon as I turn the key off, you hear the uh, antenna now go back down. So I'm going to have her turn the key off, and I'm going to put the antenna in the, uh, in the opening and have it try to pull it back in. 
and like back off like you're pulling Kia. What? This way, the Yeah, just don't do it yet. When I tell you, just pull it back out. Take the key out, okay?